Hey everybody, Michael the Tutor 16 here. Today I'm going to be doing tutorial number seven in Microsoft Word. And the topics for discussion in this tutorial will be that I'm going to show you how to use the Find and Replace option within your Microsoft Word program. The advantages of using the Find and Replace will be that this will help when replacing certain words within your document. This will also help replace words that you've used repetitively with different words that have the same meaning and this will make your document more professional looking. So let's go into Microsoft Word and I'll show you how to use the Find and Replace option. As you can see, I've gone into Microsoft Word and today I'm going to show you how to use the Find and Replace option. Using the Find and Replace is a useful tool when you're trying to locate certain words within your document and replace them with another word of your choosing. I've used Microsoft Excel numerous times within these four paragraphs. And what I want to do is I want to take the word Excel and replace it with the words PowerPoint. So to do this, I'm going to let Find and Replace do it for me. On a short document like this, it would be easy for me just to manually go in and change them. But if my document was 20 pages long, it would be very time consuming to do this manually. So why not let Microsoft Word do the work for us? So the first thing I want to do is move my cursor to the top of my document. That way, when I start my Find and Replace, it'll start at the top of the document and work its way down. The next thing you want to do is to make sure you're in your Home tab of your Ribbon Toolbar. Once there, over on the right-hand side, under the Editing section, you'll find the option for Find and one for Replace. When you click on Replace, you'll see that it'll bring up a box, and it'll give you a box to type in the word that you're looking for and a box for a word that you're wanting to replace it with and I've already typed in all of my choices. So under Find What, I've got the word Excel, and under Replace With, I've got the words PowerPoint. So when I click on Replace, watch what'll happen. It'll locate the first occurrence, and then it'll give me some choices that I can make as to what I want to do with it. If I click on Replace, it'll just replace this first occurrence, and then it'll go down and find its next occurrence. But if I click on Replace All, it'll find all of the words Excel and replace them with PowerPoint. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But there may be an instance where you want to leave one word alone and just go on to the next occurrence. So I'm just going to click on Replace and watch what will happen. As you can see, it took out the word Excel and it replaced it with PowerPoint. And then it went down and it highlighted my second occurrence. So again, I can either Replace, Replace All, or Find Next. Let's say that I wanted to leave this as Microsoft Excel and move on to the next occurrence. So to leave it there, I'm just going to click on Find Next. And now you can see that it moved down and it found the third occurrence, and it's going to replace Excel with PowerPoint if I click on Replace. So watch what will happen. As you can see, it removed Excel and put the word PowerPoint. And let's say that I want to replace this one as well. Again, I'm going to click on Replace, and now it found the next occurrence down toward the bottom of the third paragraph. Now let's say that I wanted to leave this one alone and not do anything with it. I could just click on Find Next. And now it's telling me that Word is finished searching the document. So I can click on OK to close out of this and then close out of my Find and Replace option. So that's how you use the Find and Replace within Microsoft Word. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscription button located at the bottom right hand side of the screen. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.